Well, and key to making your characters three-dimensional is how they react to other people. Is Do you have, like, a favorite character that your character interacts with? Do you like the way your character is around a certain other character on the show? I love the way Alicia reacts with Eli Gold. Because, I, I mean, Alan Cumming is a dear friend of mine anyway, and it's so rare um, that we get scenes together. But when we do, um, I think she's constantly shocking him in ways that makes her laugh, because to her it's so not a shock. But he's so um, earnest and stern, mm -hmm. and yet he's completely lost when it comes to Alicia, and I think she likes playing him. Mm -hmm. We just have a really good time together on the set, and I love watching. I mean, he used to be Josh Charles, but he's um, no longer with the good wife. <laughs> um, yeah. That was a special relationship. I loved how Alicia and he danced together mm -hmm. um, and around each other, but, but Alan definitely um, is one of those people. Vera, it's like a tighter circle there, but... It's a tighter circle, and of course I, I cherish the relationship with Norman. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's, that, that's the story focuses on, on, on mother and son, mm -hmm. and Freddie is outstanding. Mm -hmm. But I, I really like my, um, my scenes, uh, where I look forward to all the scenes with um, Nestor Carbonell, who plays oh. Romero. Yeah. And I think this is, what, this is what I respond to your character so much. I think I, I, when you were talking about the fact that you know, he doesn't talk much, I'm thinking, well, he talks all the time. I'm thinking, oh, the, <laughs> what's so beatific about your character, what's so beautiful is that it, it, th there's so much that's unspoken. And subtextually, your character is so rich. Mm -hmm. And you're con you know, you, and that's where, and, and with Romero, it's that similar relation. There's so much that's unspoken. And there's so much subtext. Mm -hmm. It's just drenched with subtext. And there's this magnetism. And, and yet they're, they're opposites, so that, I think that one, Romero. John? Uh, yeah, I could answer it in, in a couple different ways, but I think the one that's probably the, the, the loaded with the most sort of uh, uncertainty and, and history and layers is, is the relationship between Don and Peggy. Um, it's, it's come so far in, from the beginning of the show to where it is now, and yet it's it's uh, it still uh, can surprise you with its anger and and meanness, its its tenderness and its its uh, vulnerability. Um, I think that's probably the, the the deepest relationship that Don has with anyone on the show, and it's and it's and it's a work relationship. You know, there is no there is no family really to right. that. There's certainly no sexuality to that. There's no um, nothing there other than a person who, two people who, who, who believe in each other's creative abilities and talent and yet have a hard time being in the same room together sometimes. Um, so yeah, so, and, and Elizabeth is an incredibly talented actress as well, so it's, it's always fun to, to, to be in scenes because mm -hmm. it's, you, you, it's, you're, you just immediately trust that you're in good hands on the other side of the of the conversation. Lizzie, you're also tight. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, well, obviously with Michael Sheen, um, because it would be a nightmare <laughs> if I didn't <laughs> like being in scenes with him. Yes. Yeah, which could happen. Yeah. Um, there's time, mm. but he. Yeah, he and I are very much on the same page when it comes to keeping this relationship between uh, Masters and Johnson, this kind of nebulous, undefinable thing from moment to moment. Uh, we never want them to be clearly in love or not in love or have their relationship be in any way obvious to each other or to the audience. Mm -hmm. And so in every beat, we really strive for that. But beyond that relationship, um, I really like working with Julianne Nicholson, who plays DePaul. Mm -hmm. She's ridiculously talented and just a, a wonderful girl but on top of that uh, you know her character has cancer right. and we go much deeper into that in the second season and she's just she's one of those actresses that the lines are so blurred between what's real and what's not that now when I see her it's just kind of like difficult not to mm. cry because she's so just like this 
I mean, she carries herself like she's so strong. She's amazing. Yeah, yeah she's amazing. But yeah. she's also, you know, she's a, she's strong, but this kind of just Vulnerable. this wound yeah. of a woman when she breaks down. There's not, you know, there's something very, very mm -hmm. tough to watch when somebody that strong breaks down. Right. And I don't know anybody who does it better than she does.